Alrighty, guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I am now hiding the chat. Let's do our best. Gone body mops, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I think the mag lead is really strong. And I think Garros is really strong, too. Amoongus is just a lot worse against um, the heavy support. Like the Lumberry and stuff. But I think Incineroar is going to help me sponge the blows from Excadrill the best. I am a little bit weaker to Titar if I let Titar get into a great position here, but uh, I'm hopefully gonna not let that happen. Let's get it, folks. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Drop some Eek types. I can't see it, but I do want some Eek types, all right? Yeah, the parting shot into Magnazone is very unfortunate on turn one. Would he ever max Quake turn one? I feel like that's an insane play to make. Toge. Yep, Toge. Or Zance. James is getting juicy on him already, baby. Hold the fucking phone. This guy's got a big day. Okay, hold on. No crit into Exca. Honestly, that would have been huge because I think with the crit, this body press will kill, but let's see. Yep. Dang. That was a good turn one, wasn't it, James? I couldn't agree more, James. You're so cool, James. <laughs> Thanks, James. Okay. Thank you whoever just followed, but uh, that was obviously a great turn one, but I need to, I need to keep the, the pressure on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I might have just thrown this whole game because he's going to Earthquake here. Okay. Yeah, I legit might have just thrown the whole game. Depends if Mag dies to this, which it probably does. So that's that's cringe. This is godlike cringe. Mag, can you clutch it? No. Nope. Okay. Earthquake is, is crazy strong. And I mean I just totally totally got fucked by it. Yeah. 100 percent my bad. Man, extra is crazy. If I crit Dazzling Gleam, the game was over, turn one. So I like I had a 50% chance to literally win the game. Oh, we don't even have... Yeah, I was like, okay, if I can Dynamax Gyarados and win this. But I like how you guys followed because I made a nice play and then I like threw the game right after. But uh, Dr. Bundy, DK, and Archie Zoct, thank you guys for dropping a follow-up for the stream. I appreciate it a ton. For real, guys. Yeah, he hasn't even Dynamaxed. Okay, but I have Fake Out is the thing that he needs to be afraid of. He should protect Excadrill, like, every time, I think. Like, he could Dynamax the Excadrill, but he would die to Burning Jealousy. He could just do that. He could literally just win the game by Dynamaxing the, like, no HP Excadrill. So I need to hope that he, like, doesn't see that out. I think he could literally Dynamax Excadrill and Max Steel Spike Toe Kiss and the game's over. But, okay. Protects. That's exactly what I needed. He dies on Gleams. No crits. Crit in the Toga. Man, whatever's in the back is just gonna roll me, though. He should follow me here, I think. He doesn't. The Iron Head's Gera. How many times am I gonna get flinched by something that I don't wanna get flinched by? Okay, cool. So extra drill's gone, but Togekiss is about to hit me with a, um... If he has Drag Pole in the back, like, this game's, like, completely over, but... I can, like, hope it's T-Tar, and I could, uh, win there. If I get crit here, like, game's over, too. Nice. Go! Let's go, Togekiss! Let's go, Funmon. Okay. Man, if I literally crit Dazzling Gleam, the game was over. Just, like, it's unfortunate. It's, like, it's not something I can, like, super complain about. I mean, he, he just won the game because of the crit. Like, the game is now over because of that crit. 
I would have been still alive with Gera. Gera does one shots in Cinerar, and then if it's Titar in the back, I one shot that too. Like, I want to know what he has in the back. I want to know what he has in the back. I'm literally just going to fight to try and earn the knowledge of what Pokemon he has in the back. I want to know what he brought and what his game plan was. So that's why I'm not giving up. It's open team sheets, right? Like, he knows all my moves and all that kind of stuff. The only piece of information I can still get from him is what Mon is in the back. And I'm going to force him to tell me. It's going to take a while. And if he, like, air slash crit flinches me a lot, I might not even be able to find out. But that's the information that I want. Yo, Switch BW, thank you, buddy, for the fall. I appreciate that a lot, for real. Crit, of course, but of course. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to find out because of the crits. If he didn't crit me, like, uh... Yeah, I can't get it now. I'd have to crit him with Burning Jealousy here. He'd have to not crit me, and i crit him with Burning Jealousy. Good players crit, guys. That's just the fact of the matter. That's just a fact of the matter. Good players crit every time with Togekiss. And unfortunately, I'm not at that level of play just yet. But maybe, maybe one day I'll get there. Maybe one day I'll get there. If he leads instant Exca and I lead this, he can just fake out my Incineroar, Swords Dance. And that's really bad for me. I'm uh, Guys, I'm switching up new beat here, new beat. It's kind of risky, but I don't think he brought Polt and I need an answer to that Incineroar Exca lead. That still can salvage the game against Dragapult Tokus. Like, it's probably Tyranitar in the back if we're thinking about this. Smaltry. I was thinking of Max Worm winning Incineroar, but he might hard switch it into Togekiss, which I think is a good play by him. I could have Dragon Dance this turn. Well, no, I really can't. Because that extra draw is not at minus one. His max skill spike will kill my team. So chances are he just Swords Dances this turn. Well, no, but my max Phantasm would just do so much to him. That would be pretty risky. Just protect? He's not protecting either? He's just going for SD, I guess. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. I do enjoy that. That's deep. Yeah. So yeah, he's got SD. I don't even think that kills Pull, to be honest. I feel like he... I kind of feel like he has to um, follow me here. Like, he could max... Guard Excadrill and just get a Dazzle into me, but it's not worth it. Oh, he's Dynamaxing Kiss here. He's Dynamaxing Kiss, and yeah, once again, if he crits me, I lose. So it's just like, yay. <laughs> Alright. Good players do crit every time. That's just a fact of the matter. See, I could have followed Mead here. That was the better play. I, I got afraid of an extra girl when I didn't need to be. Yeah, Joe's playing this really well though. I, I can't I can't knock him on this at all. Joe's playing like a beast. Because he is. Maybe he airstreams Togekiss? Maybe he Maybe he overthinks it and over and airstreams Kiss. And that could be that could be really nice. Let's see. Yes. Awesome. Okay, he airstream is cool, you know, similar, similar, in a similar fashion, but I got the airstream off too. Crit, good player's crit, he's crit, you know, his last five attacks in a row. I'm not counting or anything, but, you know. 
Like, I could go for Dazzle, and if I get the crit into Exca, I kill it. If I don't, I don't. Like, if I max guard and he airstreams Kiss, then I'm in a really bad position. Okay, well, I'm about to max Wormwind this and probably lose. Yeah. I, I need to I need to be able to think faster. I need to be able to think faster. And it sucks, but... 50% chance for this move to not completely throw the game. Okay. That was such a not good play. And doesn't crit me. Holy shit. We are lucky boys. Dang, we just luck sacked him out of this game big time. I don't know if his toe kiss is faster than I it. I it needs to be like insanely fast to still be faster than Amoongus has to be the one to kind of like fall on the sword here, if you will. If he's if he's faster than my Dragapult at plus one, then it's like it's probably just game over. But um, T Tar protect, cool. And I dip out. So this should be an airstream into Tokus. I mean into Amoongus. That's that's the best play for sure. I think. Crit, can we just tally it up? No crit. Yeah, but Amoongus is gonna die here. Uh, I decided Amoongus was the least valuable one on my team. <sighs> sucks, man. Sucks, uh, sucks to suck. It's not looking good for your boy. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and bring this to game three. It's gonna be really close, but we're gonna try our best. I don't know, we might actually be able to clutch this. Well, my my Phantom Force is not gonna kill him. And then my Dragapult's gonna be faster than plus two T-Tar, so T-Tar will finish off Dragapult with Rock Slide. Yeah, so looks like we are, uh, looks like we are out of this. Togekiss will do whatever move it does. It should air slash uh, Gyarados. Yep. And no crit. Dang, that's a ton of damage. Gets both rock slides. Gyarados will barely live this. And I have a double chance to flinch here. So I can't even complain about like hacks if I, uh, if I get flinched here. Sorry, music too loud. Yeah, Dynamax Togekiss, Dynamax Excadrill. Um, there's too much, too much for me to handle here. He just Dazzle Rock Slides. There's no reason to do anything else. How many turns of Sand? Two. So Togekiss won't even die to Sand Tick. Dazzling Gleam could potentially pick up a double KO this turn, but it's kind of just too late. Yeah, this is a really good play by him. This is a super good play. Because I have to protect this turn to not die. And then he's got fake out into Gyarados literally next turn. And so I'll have to get like a double protect. Just to even stay alive. Yep. Um, Dazzle. I'll finish his off. Alright, we got our crit. Feels good. Tokus is stupid. Pokemon shouldn't have items while Dynamax. Okay. So yeah, I gotta get a double protect here. It's my only it's my only way of winning this game. He could bring an Excadrill. Yeah, he could bring an Excadrill. I, I still have to get a double protect, to be fair. Oh no. He has this like 100%. So he's he's played himself into a perfect position. Because Iron Head will kill my Gyarados. Okay. Iron Head will even probably kill Tokus. So he can just fake out Togekiss, Iron Head, Gyarados, and then Iron Head, Togekiss the next turn. I, I'd have to get like so many protects. Like, 
there's the one thing that keeps us alive, but it's not really gonna matter. Okay, so he faked out Gyarados and Iron Headed Kiss. <sighs> Which, like, dude, I don't know. If I was super bulky, I might have been able to live that. And then he'd get punished. But, uh, that's the game. No. Joe played really well. Joe played really well. And so I. I mean, I threw game one by the Earthquake. I didn't really have an exactly an amazing answer. I guess I switch in Intimidate. I switch in Intimidate and I survive the Earthquake, but um, I gotta give him the win. I gotta let him have the, the, the final attack, you know? I mean, he's switching just to like 100% ensure a win, but like he, he would've had it anyway. Sag, yeah, that's Sag, but it sucks. I really didn't play good today. I really didn't. So, like, I'm sorry that I underperformed for you guys. I think this team is straight fire, but I made tons and tons of misplays today. And Joe played, like, near perfect. He played literally near perfect.